Hey y'all, today's a What's Soul video and it starts right now. Alright guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Bitter Thip Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. So it basically means I buy something low then sell for market value on places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Today's going to be 20 what's sold for me in the last couple of days on eBay. I'll try to tell you exactly how much I paid for the item and how long it took for them to sell. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a reselling channel. If you want to, go watch some of my other videos. If you do like the content, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video. Let's go ahead and get started without further ado. On the very first one. This one right here is going to be an Echo Ping 2. So it's a Ping Echo 2 putter. Right-handed club. Did go for $32 and the buyer did pay shipping. This went overseas through the global shipping program. I have $3 into that and it did take a couple months to sell. These right here are going to be a vintage lot of 20 deck of cards. Playing cards. Most were used. Some were new. All of them are older. And they did go for $14.50 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. I had that on auction so it took 10 days to sell. and had a couple bucks into that and an auction on highbid.com. This one right here is going to be a Harley Davidson lightweight zip up hoodie. I love selling Harley gear and being in Myrtle Beach, I find a lot of it. Now the thing is about this is that it had stains on it that I did not notice when I was at the uh, thrift store. It had like paint stains. I could not get them off. So I sold it for, you know, a, a reduced cost or a discounted cost of $15. And that one also went overseas. And I got it for about six bucks at a Salvation Army. So not a lot of money made, but I was happy to make a little bit since it had the stains. This one right here is going to be a racquetball racket by the company Head. And they have some pretty high-end stuff, but they also have some pretty not-so-high-end stuff. So what you want to do is make sure you definitely comp these out correctly. This one right here I had listed for $115. was talking to an individual, and we settled on the price of $65 plus shipping. I only have $2 into that at an auction. This one is going to be a Castrol Oil Black Adjustable Strap Back Hat. to go for $8, and the buyer did pay shipping. I have a couple bucks into that at a Goodwill probably eight months ago. These Snap-on Hex Sockets, Snap-on is a really good brand to sell. Their wrenches, really anything Snap-on does sell. And uh, these went for $15 with free shipping. There were two pieces here. I have very little into these. These are 3 8 drive, so they're very, very small, like that big. Very small drive. I, these go out at like a 4-ounce rate. So definitely uh, not a bad profit there because I have pennies into these when I buy big toolboxes, but they take a long time to sell. Sometimes they take up to like 9 months to a year. This one right here I've had for a super long time, probably about 10 to 11 months. This is just a gauge. It's an OTC 0 through 5,000 PSI gauge made in the United States. Went free shipping. It was kind of heavy. Went in a padded flat rate. And um, it did go for $30. Not too bad there. I have pennies into that. Again, a long time ago when I did a huge tool buyout. This one is going to be a Caterpillar Heavy Machinery Trucker Mesh Snapback Baseball Cap. Uh, it was used and it was not vintage. This is a modern hat. And it did go for $11 plus shipping. I have $2 into that hat at a Goodwill, but it did take a long time to sell, probably about five months. This I got out of the auction that I had a, a little bit ago in, in the attic uh, lot that I did a big like, kind of series on. And this one did go for $10. It was in pretty rough condition. It did not work. It was not tested. It was missing a couple pieces. And it is a vintage 1984 Super Knight Rider battery operated car, not tested. I actually don't know what this thing did because it there was it did not work i mean uh and there was no really way to test this so i sold it for ten dollars plus shipping and the guy got it and gave me a good review so pretty happy with that browning does make golf clubs i want to throw this one out there this is a browning 440 plus single iron this went overseas they did pay 31 dollars plus shipping had a stiff flex right-handed club on this three dollars at the goodwill they might sell in sets. The only reason I picked this up because it was a one iron, but you definitely want to comp out Browning golf clubs. I think most likely this is going to be just for show and they probably like the company Browning who makes firearms. This one right here is going to be SK Tools. I'm a big fan of selling SK Tools. They do sell very well. I would say almost just as good as Snap-on stuff, especially the older stuff. And this is going to be half inch drive socket set four piece. They are standards and they went for $20 plus shipping and a padded flat rate. And I always usually say no matter what the actual socket you can get, most likely $5 plus shipping. Some are a little bit lower, but most of them are all long tail. This took a long time to sell, probably a couple months. And uh, But again, pennies into these things when I buy big bulk lots. This is a Nitro Tour 60 degree lob wedge. They go for $15 plus shipping. I have $3 into this at a Goodwill. I comped this out 
If there is a lob wedge at the Goodwill, and I don't know the brand, but it is a 60 degree or like a 61 or 62 or 64 degree, I'll still comp them out. And that's how I found this one. It didn't have a really great, you know, it wasn't worth like 50 bucks, but $15 isn't too bad. So make $10 into it. And they're really not that hard to ship because they do fit into those triangle tubes without any manipulation um, pitching wedge too. So that's a good thing. So when you pick those up, you can fit them into those tubes and not have to franken box them. This one right here is going to be a vintage fire apparatus adjustable hat. This also came out of that big bulk buy I did on the attic. And I have very little, I'm already in the profit, but when I bought this stuff, very little into it, less than a dollar. And this went for $15 plus shipping. That was a really nice hat. The bill of that, as you can tell, is like a different color. It's actually suede, so it was a really nice hat. These I overpaid for at a garage sale. Straight up, uh, messed up. I think I paid $15 for these and they only sold for 20 plus shipping. They're Schlesinger SSD2 brand new golf balls. Two dozen is what it is. They sat for a while. Somebody gave me an offer of 20 bucks. I was going to break even and that's exactly what I did and got a you know lesson learned out of it. These right here, Carhartt. Good brand to sell, especially new Carhartt. These were Carhartt men's flame resistant rugged flex 52 by 30 new with tag jeans uh probably have a couple bucks into them they went for 35 dollars and the buyer did pay shipping and they fit in a padded flat rate so that's really not too bad these tommy armor royal scott undercut irons five through nine mid flex left-handed clubs they go for 50 dollars plus shipping they also went overseas and i got them for free my parents were driving around saw them near a, a dumpster or something end up grabbing them i comped them out they were good to go so uh free to me and fifty dollars not too bad they only took about a month to sell these u.s kids golf carrier bag this is a 39 through 27 inch red black bag only i picked this up and other clubs for uh, 12.99 about two months ago at a salvation army and the bag alone sold for 39 dollars plus shipping it had the it still had the protective plastic on the stand right there as you can tell in the picture so really good looking bag there and i like u.s kids because they always give you a height to put in there that was actually on the bag 39 through 27 so you definitely want to put that in your description and that's how you comp that stuff out too this golf towel is a u.s open 1998 did go for ten dollars plus shipping this is the second one of these i've actually sold i knew right when i was at the estate sale i knew this thing was worth about 10 to 15 bucks i only wanted like i think 50 cents for it or a dollar and i immediately bought it sold pretty fast for ten dollars plus shipping easy to ship easy to list love me uh, some golf towels these I sold, these are a pair of 15 pound hex rubber coated dumbbells in super good condition. They went for $55 free shipping. They did fit in a large flat rate. So I think it's like $18 to ship. I don't remember what I paid for these. I actually bought these to work out at the house when all the gyms shut down a while back. And then uh, they sold almost instantaneously when I put on eBay. It was not to get any type of money or profit. It was just to get my money back because I'm not using them anymore. So uh, not too bad there, but they did sell very fast. So I was pretty surprised. And this one here is probably my best score. Our, our Goodwill had this big opening the other day. And uh, it was I put on my Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram, go follow me at the Beard Thrift Machine. And uh, this was a really good score. I got it for $7. This is a KitchenAid sparkling beverage soda maker. It was uh, in really, really good condition. Very little dings on it. I mean, it was in no scratches. It was really good condition. Went for $135 plus shipping. It was not that big, but super heavy. I think this weighed like 18 to 25 pounds. I forget what exactly it was, but it was a lot. I had to pack it really well. Hopefully they enjoy it, but a definitely good flip there. Turning seven bucks into 135 isn't that bad. So I do appreciate everybody that watches. If you're not subscribed, always consider to subscribe to the channel, like the video that you're watching, and also give me a comment down below. I much appreciate it. So that is 20 what sold for me in the last couple of days, and you know I'll always catch you on the next one.